Hello, my name is Michael Lanasa, and I'm the lead technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use the Azure RMS Bring Your Own Key Scenario, or BYOK, to securely create and transfer a private key to the Microsoft Azure data centers for use with your Azure RMS tenant. In the RMS architecture, all documents protected by users in an organization are protected by a private key owned by the organization, called the private key or tenant key. By default, Microsoft generates and manages your tenant key on your behalf. This makes it extremely easy for you to sign up for and implement Azure RMS. Alternately, you can decide to supply and manage your own key. This is the BYOK scenario. In this option, you create a key on premises using a local Talus hardware security module. Then you create a copy of that key with limited permissions and securely transfer it to the Azure data centers, either in person in a key ceremony at Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, Washington, or secure over the internet. Both key deployment scenarios are valid and will create a secure tenant key that can be used to create and consume protected content. However, there are several reasons why an organization might decide to deploy Azure RMS using BYOK. Many organizations are subject to internal and external regulations around how to manage encryption keys. For example, they may require the key be generated and escrowed in a certain way. They may require the key be changed every year. With BYOK, you generate and escrow your key the way you want and loan a copy with reduced permissions to Microsoft. You manage the lifecycle and Microsoft reports on the usage of your key in near real time. Finally, when you use BYOK, you get hardware enforced protection of your keys in the Microsoft data centers because you import them into FIPS compliant hardware security modules. At the time of this recording, the BYOK scenario does not support RMS integration with Exchange Online. Users will still be able to create and consume protected emails using the Outlook client. However, the Exchange IRM features such as IRM and OA, journal decryption, transport decryption, and transport protection rules will not be available for those emails. For more information about Exchange IRM features, please take a look at our Data in Motion video. So how does the BYOK scenario work? First, you must have a TALUS Hardware Security Module, or HSM, on premises. Any model of TALUS EndShield HSM will work. If you will use the HSM exclusively for the BYOK scenario, we recommend the Edge device. If you use HSMs for other applications in the organization, we might recommend the Connect device. Once you set up your TALUS HSM, generate a key for use with Azure RMS. Then, using the BYOK toolkit, you will create a copy of that key with reduced permissions. For example, recipients of the copied key will not be able to export or copy it. This is the key that you will transfer to the HSMs in the Microsoft Data Center, either through an in-person key ceremony or securely over the internet. Your key ceremony may differ from that which I will show you, depending on your security and compliance needs. This video will focus on using an Edge device and transferring the key over the internet. Now I'd like to demonstrate this functionality to you. First, we need to prep our computer. Typically, you would use two computers for this, one offline client connected to the HSM and one online client, which is used to transfer the key. For this demo, I'll be using the same computer. To prep the online computer, download and install the Azure Rights Management Administration Tool and Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant. To prep the offline computer, install the TALIS software on it and copy the BYOK toolset to the offline computer. Once the prerequisites are in place, log on to the offline computer. Set the Edge HSM device to initialization mode and open a command prompt. First, we'll run the inquiry command, which will verify that the HSM is ready to create the security world. You can think of the security world as the logical management and security boundary of the TALIS HSM device. This becomes more important when using multiple connect devices for high availability. In this case, we just need to create a simple security world for our RMS tenant key using the new world command. Notice the ACS quorum parameter. The administrator card set, or ACS, is a collection of smart cards that must be presented to perform an action within the security world, such as adding another HSM. In our case, the quorum is two of three, meaning that we will issue a total of three cards, but only two must be present to make a change. Off screen, I'm inserting the three cards into the HSM to be written. Optionally, I am able to protect each card with a unique password. Once the security world is created, I will set the HSM into operational mode. Now we will run the CNG configuration wizard, which will provide some of the necessary parameters for our new key. For our purposes, we'll select module protection. 
Other key protection methods are more appropriate for other applications that rely on private keys, such as PKI. Now we will generate our key. This will create a tokenized key file in one of the Talisus directories. From that di directory, we can back up the key simply using the copy and paste controls. Once the key is generated, we want to create a copy of the key with reduced permissions. Microsoft will be able to use the copy of the key in conjunction with Azure RMS. However, they will not be able to copy or export it. Once you create the copy, you can expect it to verify that the permissions have been reduced. Now we will encrypt the copy of the key with Microsoft's key exchange key. Only Microsoft will be able to decrypt the copy, securing it across the wire. Once the command completes, we will confirm that the operation was successful. If so, we should see a BYOK file in our folder. At this point, we would copy this BYOK file to the online computer to transfer it. Here are the files I mentioned earlier, including the key, the security world files, and the copy of the key with reduced permissions. Now from the online computer, we will connect to the Azure RMS service and add the key using the add AADRM key command. First, I'll connect to the Azure RMS service using an account with RMS admin permissions. I'll use the git aadrm configuration command to verify that we're connected to the tenant. Now I'll use the command to upload our key up to the Azure RMS tenant. Once this is complete, we can verify the process by running git aadrm keys. Going forward, your users will use this key when creating and consuming protected content, and you can configure RMS logging to see in near real time exactly when your key is being used. If in the future you decide to stop using Azure RMS, you can automatically revoke the key by unsubscribing from the service. No further action is required. Also, Microsoft has recently released the Azure Key Vault service, which is a cloud-hosted HSM-backed service for managing cryptographic keys and other secrets used in cloud applications. You can use a very similar process as that which I have presented here to upload a key to the Key Vault to support custom Azure hosted applications, SQL Server databases in Azure based VMs, and more. Okay, I've just demonstrated how you can perform the BYOK scenario to securely create and transfer a key to the Microsoft data centers for use with Azure RMS. Now you can activate your RMS service and begin creating and consuming protected content. For more information about RMS, please see our other videos at youtube.com slash Synergy Advisors. At Synergy Advisors, we design and deploy RMS architectures for enterprise level customers. We also deploy Talus HSM devices to provide a complete information protection solution. If you are interested in learning how RMS can help you solve your information protection needs, visit our webpage at synergyadvisors.biz. We also post a monthly newsletter filled with the latest updates across the Microsoft identity and security products. If you would like to sign up, please email us at info at synergyadvisors.biz. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.